There's lots of ways to update information in AccountWrite, but a quick way to update lots of details at once is to export the information, update it in Excel, then import it back into AccountWrite. This not only saves time, but lets you use the smarts in Excel, like formulas, to update your info. Bulk updating is ideal for things like customer credit terms, supplier details, and stock prices. In this video, we'll show you how to bulk update the selling price of all your stock items by 10%. Okay, let's get started. First, export your item information from AccountWrite. There's another video that covers exporting, but here are the basics. We want to export item information. We'll separate the data using tabs and include field headers in the file. We'll see why that's important when we're in Excel. We're updating item selling prices, so we don't need to export all fields, just the item number, item name, and selling price. If you use multiple price levels, you can add these fields too. Save the export file somewhere you'll be able to find it, like the desktop. Now comes the fun part. To see our file in Excel, select the All Files option. Because it's not an Excel spreadsheet, the text import wizard appears. This lets you tell Excel a bit about the file so it displays correctly. It's unlikely you'll need to change any of the options which Excel suggests. Just make sure that the correct options are selected. At step one, check that the delimited option is selected. Tab should be selected at step two because that was the format we specified during the export. And in the final step, leave it as general. And you're done. The export file is displayed in easy to read rows and columns. Each column has a heading because we included the field headers in the export. You can update information one cell at a time or use the smarts in Excel to speed things up. A formula is ideal when working with numbers. By adding a new column and using a formula, you can easily increase all prices by the same amount, let's say 10%. Save your changes and click Yes to the following message. This keeps the file in its original text format, just the way AccountWrite likes it. All that's left is to import the file back into AccountWrite. There's another video that shows importing in more detail, but here's the basics. We're importing item information. Select your updated file and we want to update existing information. The fields in your import file are shown here, including the updated prices. Now, just match the required fields to the relevant field in AccountWrite. We don't want the original selling prices, so we don't need to match that one. And you're done. A summary of the import is shown. If there's errors or warnings, you can view the import log for details. This is covered in our other video. For more information on exporting or importing, go to help.myob.com.